Point of order. Question. What happens when you depress both pedals at the same time? Answer. Let's find out. Okay, first, pressing and holding the brake, or basically riding the brake, so pressing and holding the brake while then pressing the accelerator. Start slow, of course you can hear the brakes grinding. Both pedals to pest. And it will let you get up to a limited amount of power dependent on your speed. So both pedals depressed. The accelerator's 100% to the floor is limiting acceleration. I know my brakes are getting really hot. Come to a stop here. So it will limit acceleration, but it will also let you press both at the same time. Now, what happens if you are pressing the accelerator first. Let's get some speed. Then press the brake. You'll get the audible warning, both pedals pressed. And the car will then cut off the accelerator to a certain point until you let up and press again. It works a little different seemingly at low speeds than it does at faster speeds. Let's bring it up to about 30. Press the brake. And it cuts the accelerator. No matter how far. But, even if I was moving, if I let off the accelerator and press again, it will allow the limited acceleration power, or power to the wheels. Okay, accelerator only hit the brake. Cutting off power, it's slowing us down. Take foot off the accelerator, press foot back down again. Now allows limited acceleration. So basically, uh, it's a safety feature. So if you're if you accidentally hit both pedals while you're driving or in you know, an emergency, So we're driving and it's emergency and for some reason your foot gets caught or something, you know, who knows what random situation happens. So you hit the other pedal and I'm not even pressing it enough to brake. I'm just pressing enough for it to recognize that it's pressed. And no matter what I do, it will now give me power until I let off completely and then press it again. And then it will reaccelerate. Nice safety features. And that goes hand in hand with the emergency slash parking brake. Um, apparently I wasn't as clear as I could have been the last video on the emergency slash parking brake and pressing that while you're in motion. I have to, I'm gonna get off the main road here, back onto a side street. A little safer, no one around. No kids around, everybody else is at work. So basically, um, just to recap with the pressing the parking brake. Slows you down. Now, the confusion was what happens when the brakes fail, how does it still work? Well, the Model S has six calipers. Two standard on the front two standards on the rear, and then two emergency electronically actuated only parking brakes on the rear. So, in, and that's a separate, its own separate little subsystem. So if your main brakes somehow fail, hydraulic leak, uh, vacuum boost, um, vacuum pump leak, or breakdown failure, or electronic assist failure, uh, pressing and holding the parking brake enables these electrically actuated secondary braking system to stop you and slow you down. Okay, there's your giant Brembo. Caliper. And you got, like I said, you got uh, Two on the rear, 
two in the front, and then you have your mini caliper, and that's the electronically actuated one. That one is for both emergency braking and parking brake. And it is much tinier, but it does apply a lot of force. Remember, that little tiny parking brake has got to provide enough braking and holding power to keep a Model S from rolling downhill in San Francisco. Smile, cheese!